When you're juggling work and family, you need a dish that's super simple to rustle up. I want to make a curry, a really beautiful, fragrant curry. But I want to do it in such a way that it's surprising and exciting. Surprising and exciting. No, you don't want that. You want a nice, traditional, simple, stick to the basics kind of thing. When he says that, I do not feel good and we're going to die. And do you know what? It's just a handful of ingredients, right? I've got ginger, garlic, chilli. Ginger, garlic, chilli, yeah, that's all good. That's all good so far. There's always an onion or that family. Yeah, you either use normal onions or shallots, but preferably those, not really spring onions. You don't really grow that in Sri Lanka or India, so to speak. So I wouldn't really recommend those, but... In the anything. house. And then yogurt, rice, standard stuff in the freezer. I always have... Did I see mango? Wait, hold on a sec. Did I see mango? In the house. And then... You Yogurt, Wait, rice, I see mango chutney. Stuck in the freezer. I, I do not feel safe. I do not feel safe. There's mango chutney in the corner here. He's gonna, he's gonna offend me in, in very bad ways. Or that family in the house. And, and then yogurt, rice, standard stuff in the freezer. I always have sustainable prawns. The Why sustainable? Just get any prawn, man. Who cares about the environment, man? Just if you want good food, who cares? If it's worth killing like I don't know ten African children. It's worth it. <laughs> and it's defrosted them, they're fantastic. So I'm gonna do an amazing rice cake, right? Is What did I just say? Water for five minutes, defrosted them, they're fantastic. So I'm gonna do an amazing rice cake. Rice cake? Just have rice. Just have normal rice. Why are you making a comp why are you having a rice cake? Why are you having a rice cake man? Right, this guy's gonna blow your mind. So one builder's mug of basmati rice mm -hmm. into a pan and then two of the same mug of yeah. water. Right. One to two ratio, that's correct. He's done something right go. for once. Get that on full whack. Okay. Super easy. This guy's rich. Why is he cooking it in a pan? Just buy a rice cooker, man. Just buy a rice cooker. It's so easy. Rice cooker. Even I have it and I'm not as rich as you. Unfortunately. But I might if I get into that family fortune with that daughter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so that's bring good. this to the oh, boil, cook it for good. about 10 or 12 minutes until the water's cooked away and when it has cooked away, turn it down to low for 5 minutes, then it'll go crispy and golden. It's gonna Super burn, simple. it's gonna burn. Let's get on to the curry. Take 4 cloves of garlic. Garlic, good. And finely slice it. Nice chopping, nice chopping. And we're on to the curry pan. That's so not a curry pan, that's just like a normal pan. Get a big high-sided pan, that's a curry pan, that's what you want if you're making a curry. That's just gonna, it's gonna There's overflow or, it's not, um, it's, I don't trust in. it. Also, you don't you only use olive oil, you use sunflower oil, but this guy's doing with Oliver. So, wonderful fragrant yeah. ingredients bit by bit. So garlic in, so mm -hmm. about one, one and a half chilies. Always check how hot they are. They're not spicy chilies, man. They're, they're, they're pussy chilies, man. What are you on about? They're pussy nice chilies. Nice sized piece of ginger. Ginger Just get a little spoon yeah. and scrape the skin off. Yep, that's good. Good technique, yeah. And then just finely slice the ginger, just nice little chunks like that. Okay. So that goes into the pan. Look at the colours. Give that a little toss. Well, I'd say, onions. I'd say it's a bit too early to add in ginger. No, you normally add in after your onions, but he's white. Just cut one bunch into like two centimetre chunks. Sprinkle that yeah. in. Right. Then we're going to go in. Normally with the use normal onions, right? not Mango spring chutney. onions. You want to cut? He's brought, the, he's brought the M word out. MC, mango chutney. There's a time and place for mango chutney and this is not it, man. Come on. You're, you're like, I don't know, you're rich. You, you, know, you should know what's better. That made no sense at all, I know that, but. Put a nice tablespoons going in there. So, no. if you look at the rice, the water's now gone. Also, the there's no spice. He hasn't, he hasn't, he ain't got no powder yet. It's a bit worrying. See if he adds it. Holes here, and I don't think he will. Down low. Five minutes, don't rush it and you'll go from standard rice to rice cake. So I'm just gonna steal half of this into here, and then about 150 mils of what's water, what's and this will make the most incredible sauce. Why are you making a sauce? What sauce are you making, bro? No, chill man, what are you? You wouldn't need to make a sauce if you added spices and powders because then it'll cook, you get water, you add more water, you get your sauce like that. You don't need to take it out and add water to it and blend it. So, let me go and whiz this up. Oh, so he says easy prawn curry. He just made himself do extra cleaning. It's not what you want. Stupid, stupid blanket. Now, 
this is the time when we can go in with our prawns. I left just one or two prawns whole with their heads on. Why the, rest, they, I... the head has like some random stuff that you don't actually want. Well, you can eat it, but normally you put it on the side, like you fry it up and it's really good. That's crispy, a bit spicy as well. But you don't really do it like that because it has all sorts of on shit in it really. Just plain shit. So you don't really want that. I just peeled the shell. A nice couple of handfuls in there. Look at that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Wash your hand in the pan. Very, very smart. Very smart indeed. Yes. So, the totally sauce hygienic. Goes in now. Love it. Oh that looks so shit. Oh that looks so bad. The sauce looks the sauce so, does not look good. The sauce goes in, in now. Oh that looks like blended diarrhea. Oh dear god. Oh man. Couple of minutes and that's good. So just take your rice and then just flip it. Like that. Can you see how crispy that is on the top? Right. The sauce. Turn the heat up here now. And then about yogurt. Grams yogurt, of okay. Yogurt, like that. Well, instead of using yogurt, you could just use coconut milk. But you won't need to use either though, because it's not spicy at all. Coconut milk helps reduce the spice and makes it nice and thick. But you don't need yogurt. What's the point in that? Just stupid, give it a little stupid shake. point. And just pour. That is Gorgeous. not it, man. That is not it. Easy prawn curry. Oh, it's not even going to be spicy as well. That's the worst part. That's the reason prawn curry is quite nice. It's like it's got a lot of spice in it which you know it just makes it taste better rice cake. but come on Get man what is this and just break it open and if you look in this you know you've still kind of got the fluffiness and the steam stuff inside see how lovely and steamy that is it's going for the prawn look at the colors guys the colors are bonkers it's just mm -hmm. blue. no one uses bonkers on, more sauce more sauce yes, no. let's just do a little bit of pop it on action what <coughs> You do not do that to a poppadom, honestly, ugh. You want the poppadom nice and whole. Whole circle, whole circle. Oh, at least put it on the side, why are you crunching it up, man? Disgraceful, disgraceful behavior. A little bit of salad on the side. Salad, not really. Crunch. You don't want salad. That okay. is a beautiful plate. It's really not. Of prawn curry. My shit looks better than that, I can't lie. Rice cake galore. Come on, let's do this. Mm. He does not enjoy that. I know for a fact he's not enjoying it. Fragrant, that. loads of flavors. Prawns, lovely. That's it. Just lovely. Nothing else. It's joyful. Joyful. Really, really, really joyful. Yeah. I'm happy. Depression seems more joyful than that, my friend. I don't think you know what joyful means. So happy. Right. No, I just fucked up with him. I'm gonna go and serve this to family. Please don't. I think they're gonna love it. No, they're not. They're gonna. They're gonna want to kill you. Yeah, don't watch this. Oh, dear God, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm not a fan of that at all. Don't really know what to say about that. It's just completely wrong. Very wrong indeed. It's not going to be spicy. It doesn't look good. Use mango chutney. It's going to be sweet as fuck. Prawn already is sweet itself, so you don't really need anything else. Prawn will have a natural sweetness. He didn't add any spices, like I said earlier. Not even the seeds. It's not, he didn't even add curry powder, so you can't really call it curry. Call it a prawn smoothie. I think that's the right word. Jamie Oliver's prawn smoothie. That seems more culturally appropriate. That was that. Okay, thank you all for watching this shitty, terrible prawn curry video. I should probably make a better prawn curry than this. I definitely can. I know for facts I can. Anything's better than this, to be fair. On that note, I will see you in the next video. So until then, if I don't see you again, good morning, good evening, and good night.